hello guys welcome back uh today i'm going to show you the good bad and the worst inside my fridge so uh this is under a uh, normal day any other day uh this is how my fridge usually looks like the day that i do not have time the day that um I have no idea of what is happening inside this fridge. Uh, you can see things are not okay. Even on top of the fridge, things are, are just all over. Everything is everywhere. But now, I want us to arrange it. Yeah, I want us to put everything away and we organize things and put things in order. So I'm going to remove all, all the vegetables all the leftover food I'm going to clean the place and then put everything in in uh, storage containers I have some few storage containers that I'm going to use to put my vegetables and other items in my fridge yeah? I went to the market the other day and so we just put everything inside the fridge without uh, before cleaning so today I got some time you know as a working mother you cannot you cannot uh, do all these things eh? and we are not perfect so so the day you get time that is the day you do your cleaning and so today uh, I just want to do what is what I will be able to do in this fridge you see you see how the fridge the fridge looks like eh? there is there was a lot of spillage and that inside there but now today I'm going to clean all that yeah. when you're storing um, food inside the fridge it is advisable you put in a tight container if possible glass containers that can close tightly because especially uh, when your your fridge is dirty as you can see here like mine there are usually my microbes bacteria that grow so when you put your your food open it can easily be infected okay so it's necessary to put food in a closed tight container and in a clean fridge. I did a video of uh, my my grocery shopping and how I store them. You can check that out. You see? You see that spillage? This is the worst that I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, so now I'll wash them. I'll wash them and then wash inside the fridge using a vinegar, vinegar, baking soda and some soap. Vinegar is, is good in cleaning the fridge because it normally takes away all the, the, all the odor so your fridge does not have smell of uh, rotten food.
so i'm actually done so now i'm going to remove this uh, some the other parts of the fridge i will also wash them and then i will now come back to to wiping the fridge this is my solution that i use to clean uh, my area my house area okay I, I i just put water i mixed water vinegar and uh, baking soda and some essential oil some drops of essential oil so this is usually a very nice solution it really sorts me in my house for some cleaning okay So by using that, my fridge uh, is left clean, odorless, and sparkling. I really like this solution. It saves me money. At least I don't go buying uh, uh, solutions to clean my fridge. But I have other solutions that I use that I buy to clean. Um, things like windows and the cookers on top of, of the cookers and the and the windows but inside I normally use the this solution it is good you can try it you can try it guys eh? look at that look at that isn't it clean oh, wow it's clean eh? it is so clean now i can i can embark on packing my things my vegetables on my fridge containers those are the containers that i have yeah you can check them we have them at high and buy shopping zone eh? yeah so as usual I have washed my my vegetables and uh, I put a paper towel or a serviette at the bottom so that it can absorb moisture eh? okay yeah that is how I do that is how I do it and uh, I normally put most of in fact let's say all my vegetables in the in the fridge uh, because I live in a very hot area very very hot area so and I normally go to the market like um, once in two weeks and things like um, matoke of course I know they are not put in the fridge but that's the only way I can I can have them as matoke in a week otherwise if I don't put them in the fridge when I put them in my in my store it is just one day or two days and they are all ripe so i put everything in my fridge okay yeah and and in a week or so the matokes are still unripe and i can still cook them as matoke for my baby okay this place is very hot you cannot put anything outside like tomatoes or what it is just one day and the second day everything is going bad yeah so that is how i arrange my things in the containers and then i pack them in the fridge
so this is how things went huh? as you can see yeah? I have um, arranged them in order in order of uh, size of the containers and uh, at least there's some order in that fridge now it looks better and I'm so proud of myself <laughs> yeah at least now it looks clean it smells fresh and this is my freezer I cleaned the place I discarded all the over staying foods in the freezer and uh, I have uh, arranged the place it looks nice thanks guys for watching I am so happy that you are here please do not forget to subscribe like and share and to the new 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 subscribers I am so happy and um, welcome to our channel we have a lot a lot a lot that we do here and just give me a comment there and a like